Drink water sandwich reviews. Today we went to South Dowling Sandwiches. South Dowling Sandwiches. Well, so it's on South Dowling It's on Street. South Dowling Street. Okay. So it originated there. Famous sandwich place in Sydney. It's the only Darling place Hurst. there, isn't it? It's the only place in South Dowling Street that has good sandwiches. There's the Vietnamese next door. There is a Vietnamese which... next door. We got, their, we got their coffee. Yeah, we got the coffee. We'll start with the coffee. So we got a Vietnamese iced coffee. You wanted to get a barmy, but they said they, they're not doing barmy. So we're not doing barmy as the lady was making spreading a butter on a barmy. And they gave us the iced coffee in a coffee cup. Yes. Even though I saw someone leave with a nice plastic cup. This is how we got odd. So I've poured mine in here. We're starting off a bit angry. We're a bit angry. We're a bit angry, we'll but try, yeah. Let's try this iced coffee. So this is the iced coffee place, or the Vietnamese place right next to South Carolina. Oh, it's good. It's sweet. Okay. Really sweet. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That's good, brother. That's good. That's really good. That's exactly what I want in a Vietnamese iced coffee. Yeah. What do they put on it? Sugar? They put condensed milk. Right. So I asked for a decaf, and they said they didn't do decaf. Mm. Which was... They couldn't be bothered. I kind of respect that. Yeah, I don't... Yeah. <laughs> like, Could they not be bothered? Does it look like I'm about yeah. to make a decaf blend right now? I'm I'm buttering a barn me. Yeah. As I say that, I don't have a barn me for you right now. <laughs> what do you think I'm going to say when it comes to doing a decaf for you? The coffee's good. That's next door to South Dallin Sandwiches. Wow. We're not we sure what got... it's called. What did you get? The So we got the uh, Paisano. Paisano, the Daniel, and the Leg Ham. Leg Ham. Three of their specialties... What's on the leg ham? So on the leg ham, it's got honey mustard SDS. I don't know what that is. Is Does that the carrot or something? So it's got this famous... Herb famous mayo and bock and cheese. So there's none of the carrot. That's not Oh, there's no carrot. Because you, you're talking about this carrot that they have. So they apparently. bought it for $50,000, this caramelized carrot recipe. That looks like sweet potato fries. Yeah. So it looks, looks just stuck. like... Let's see let's, what we Let's got. break these boys open. This coffee's good, good, by the way. So that's okay. your leg. Oh, by the way... Um, they ran out of bread. They were out of the bread. We yes. got there at an hour. We got there at two. What time was it? Two? Probably like we got there at two. They two. closed at three fifteen, and they yeah. were out of bread. So all yes. they had was the the challah. The challah. They only had challah bread. Which, in all honesty, to be selfish, I prefer. That upset, so I prefer challah bread. This is the Daniel. Look at these three boys. This is the paisano. That's the paisano. I don't know if I want the leg. And this ham. is the leg ham. Not a fan. Okay, what's going on inside these as well? So leg ham, you've just got a really oh nice. The bocconcini looks good. That looks good. That looks maybe I'll have, I'll try that. You could try this one. That leg ham looks nice. I'm looking forward to it. This is the paisano. Oh, okay. So looking at it, Ooh. look at the Daniel chicken schnitzel carrot. Very simple. It's got chili sauce and herb mayo sauce. And so this looks like sweet potato fries. Yeah. So maybe just try a carrot. I've had it before. So this is it. Oh, it's nice the chicken. Okay, so this is the carrot. It's the carrot. That looks like a sweet potato fry. Mm. Mm. Okay. That's better than a sweet potato fry. Yeah. <laughs> That's absolutely delicious. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay, I think the hype was a it was a huge line. Huge queue. Really huge line. Probably I like, don't know about the bread. Usually they just have like white or brown big bread and it's bigger usually. Yeah. So this is a bit of a I don't want to say rip off, but we got a bit gypped. Really? So the bread's bigger than this, usually. But this is challah bread. This is challah bread. So uh, it's got like the seeds and stuff like that in it. Looks good. Um, like, let's give it a go. What's the one you're having? What's that? Daniel. That's the Daniel. Mm. So that's just a chicken schnitzel, isn't it? Yeah. So this is like a... So this is more manageable. Usually it's huge. Yeah. And it's kind of like you got to really get into it. So the benefit with the challah bread is it's a bit easier to eat. But you got a bit less. Mm. Mm. Okay, I just said the Posano. So the Posano. Oh my god. Again, I don't know if I'm hungry, but this is. Mm. This is absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> the Posano is chicken schnitzel, salami, uh, pastrami. What is that? The bread blends great. Prosciutto, um, provolone cheese, roasted peppers, caramelized onions, rocket, mm. truff. Oh, truffle sauce. Truffle sauce. And herb mayo. Mm. Herb mayo is incredible. It's probably right. the nicest sandwich I've had in my life. <laughs> I'm just going to put it out there. Do you want to try the second half? So you've had this a few times. I always get one. the Daniel. You always get or the Or I get the salad, the chicken schnitzel salad. Okay. With extra carrot. Chicken schnitzel salad. Okay. This is, this is out of this world, in all honesty. 
Mmm. Mmm. Dang. Mmm. So it's quite spicy. That one. Mmm. Look at what's on their menu. I don't know if I want a whole, maybe... You just want to like cut half? I'll grab like a knife. Yeah. This, it's got like a spice to it, this one. I'm curious of what you think of it. But I think it's coming from the roasted peppers is giving it like a really nice kind of chilli flavour. Unless there's a sauce going on there. Um, no, a roasted peppers. I Maybe think the salami. Pepper. I think the salami is mm. giving it a bit of a bite. I'm going to grab a knife so you can grab a bit. I'm curious to see how you like the ham. It yeah, looks ham. great for like an Italian kind of sub. Honestly, it's cheap as well. So with the ham, this was twelve fifty. Yeah, or even eleven fifty. Eleven fifty. It was something crazy. This one was twenty dollars. This is twenty dollars. This yeah, was the so most expensive. A little bit pricey for the paisano, but I can see why. It's kind of got everything on it. So you've literally got schnitzel. You've got salami. I'm gonna do this. What else have they got on it? I have to literally keep on looking because there's so many things. Prosciutto, Cut pastrami. It does cut easy. So you've given yourself a little oh, slice off. That's not great. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, here we go. So we've dropped it on the table. So we've dropped it on the table. <laughs> I think this is... This looks like a clean piece. That. That does look So give this... Clean. I'm curious of what you think of this. Yeah. This is one of the nicest... It may be the nicest sandwich I've had in my life. I don't know if I'm hyping this up. Whoa. Yeah. A lot of flavour. Mmm, that's great. I'm starting to taste salami more in this one as well. Mm. Kind of tastes like there's bacon on it. Mmm, and it's got the chicken schnitzel. Yeah. When I saw it on the menu, I was like, there's no way this is going to work. Mm. There was actually no way this was going to work. Wow, that's cool. Mm. What's that flavour? That's a, There's some weird flavour in there. What is it, like the kick? Are you grabbing the kick? Mm. That thing's coming from the capsicum. And then the salami as well. I think it's like a hot salami that yeah. they've used. So like the hot salami is really giving it kind of this fiery edge. Yeah, that salami is yeah. great. Because I don't usually expect to have kind of a bit of a burn or a bit of a kick when having like a sandwich just from like yeah. a, a sandwich shop or a deli or something like that. But Ooh. I'm really getting it. It's a bit hot. It's a bit hot. Yeah. In a nice way. I love, I love some chili. I love a little bit of fire in a meal. What else are you picking up in that? This is delicious. This is probably... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Has it beat your expectations? It really has. In all honesty, I will put a lot of it down to this challah bread. Wow. Yeah. I. <laughs> the bread makes it a lot more easier. Yes. And it it's stays kind of like a Subway. Look at this It stays thing. together. If Subway Soon started serving... swim. That could yeah. be the test. The sandwich test. Look at this. It stays together. You can shake it. You can be having a conversation. I fell out a little bit there. But this really stays together nicely. Because usually it's big and you're like that. Mmm. Oh, I feel like they've got like a chilli sauce on it. There's a red sauce that I'm getting like on my fingers. I feel like you got to try the Daniel. I'm okay. almost willing to sacrifice. I might try a little bit of the Daniel. I need to... I should have gotten serviettes. These are pretty messy sandwiches, <laughs> yeah. to be completely honest. They're a bit messy. I think mainly because there's a lot of sauce going on. Okay, so this is the Daniel. This is kind of like the OG, is it? Yeah, this is my favourite. This what is I your favourite one. Simple. So after trying this Paisano one, I don't know if the Daniel's going to hit as hard. You more taste the carrot? Just go. Right, guy. Okay, here we go. Daniel. I could. Mm. Oh, wow, you do. Mmm. What else am I... Oh, really? Tasting the pesto? Yeah. Pesto I think that's really... a herb mayo. Oh, herb mayo. Dang. And this one's really chili. coming through nicely. Oh, it's got chilli in it as well. It doesn't seem as spicy as the Paisano. Mm -hmm. Weirdly. I oh. think it's a salami, definitely. Oh, it's quite salty. Mmm. Some people had quite salty. What is it got on it? The Daniel, it's got chilli sauce, herb mayo. I think that's where I'm getting a lot of the... Oh! Caramelised carrots. <clears throat> Something very strong and spicy has just come through. Oh, there's something very salty. 
I feel, I, I can't take. I can't really tell what it is. I think it's the edge of the chicken. I like salty food, so because the chicken seems to be like crumbed or something like mm. that. It's chicken schnitzel. Chicken schnitzel. Really... I think it could be the chili sauce. You getting a lot of it? Yeah. Is that the chili sauce yeah. there? Or the chili sauce. There? It looks like uh, very much like a chili oil. Yeah. That's coming through, which is very unique chili paste. Yeah. Yeah, chili paste. It's really strong, really salty. Okay, but. Um, <laughs> that's overwhelming. <laughs> oh man, it's so salty. Okay. This is my genuine reaction, but I think I've hit just a very salty corner on that one. Yeah. It's good. That's full of flavor though. Mm. But very, very intense. I think the way they've spread the chili sauce or the chili paste, whatever that's on this, it tastes almost like a chili paste um, that you would get on like a banh mi. Yeah. Very pasty. Yeah. Very kind of... Heavy in salt. I don't know what it's... I'm not sure what the word's, word's called, but that's sort of like uh, the black paste that's usually on a bun, me, mm. and I've literally forgotten the name for it. But that's good. We all know the one. We all know the one. If you've had a bun, me before, you know what it's called. Leg ham. Wokinchini. Are you going to try this? You go first, man. Okay, here we go. So nice big pieces of wokinchini. Leg ham looks pretty standard, mm. in all honesty. This is literally like something you could probably make at home. It's almost 10 bucks, though. Cheap. I know, 11 50 11 50 Yeah, something like that. Oh, how much? Do they say the prices? Leg ham is 11 Oh, no. 12 $12. Okay. Maybe it was 11 50 in store. Beautiful guacanchini, <laughs> normal pieces of tomato. Nice, solid pieces of ham. Nice, solid pieces. Okay, let's give this boy a dig. And again, we have a third time with a challah bread. We got the last challah bread as well. Mm. So they still had an hour that they were open and they were out of bread fully. Even though they had a bunch of bread in there. So it was yeah. a bit confusing once again. Well, it was like a honey. Like a sweet flavour. Oh. It was like a sweetness going on. So this is the leg ham. Honey mustard. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Usually honey mustard's quite like biting with the mustard. This is very sweet. It's like a very, very sweet honey mustard. Almost tastes like you're having... um jam like a sort of wow. a jam i think you can even see kind of it looks you can see the big pieces of honey whoa there. look at that yeah this is quite sweet i think they're probably making it in-house yeah they're a bit heavy-handed on the honey side gosh um the mustard doesn't feel that biting okay mm. again it tastes like a like a it's like a real jam it's like honey. Mm. There's no mustard in this, right thing. There's no bite. Does it blend well or is it a bit too much? It's very sweet. Very, very sweet. I think they they could probably just brand this as just saying we have honey. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. It's delicious. It's really nice. Yeah. But it's quite like it's got me in a weird way. It's quite sweet. Wow. Overwhelmingly sweet here. A bocconcini. I want to try to get a bite with a little bit more of that cheese on it. I probably couldn't have it. Give it a dig. Give it a dig. I'll have one. Back. You're gonna have to. What am I gonna cut it though? Try to piss off. Mm. Okay, finally, there we go. The way this has been spread, I could finally taste a little bit of the mustard coming through. <laughs> finally, I feel like they've kind of like got the edges. Don't base my reaction to how it is. Okay. What is it? You're not a big fan of ham? Or honey or mustard. <laughs> <laughs> or anything on it. Okay, give it a dig. It's haram, brother. What is that? They've got the I didn't really get it. <laughs> oh, you didn't get it. <laughs> you gotta give it you gotta give it a proper cut. You need to give it a real solid cut here. Um, also, yeah, afterwards, I did want to try the uh, cookie that we got as well. Let me just... I'm going to have to grab some serviettes. Oh, God. Yeah, what are you tasting? Honey. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just got honey on it. Yeah, it's just got honey on it. If you if you like that, that's really good. Yeah. If you like honey mustard. I've had like a honey pepperoni pizza before. I'm sure that would be great. It's quite like dominant. Mm. It very much, it tastes like... Honey. I've had honey mustard, like the honey dominant, mustard you've had. The, dominant honey. Yeah. Like honey straight from the bees. A hundred percent. Like sweet. Like a like you're having a lolly. Um gonna get a little bit more mm. of this coffee in. 
oh man, that coffee's good. Mm. That coffee's so good. <laughs> With the coffee though, they also offer a cookie. So this no, is no, from, that was at the sandwich. Yeah, so this was at um, South Dowling Sandwiches. They've offered like a, a chocolate chip cookie I'll here. I'll try some of that. So it looks... I like cookies that look like this. I like them. Looks Where the good. chocolate chips aren't like in your face. In your face. Looks it's kind of healthy. Be, yeah, it looks healthy. It's like, oh, okay, I'll get your cookie. I'm not going to have a whole bunch of chocolate by the looks of it. Um, let's break. Okay, so it's a harder cookie. Oh. Gets, okay, you can see the big chunks of chocolate so inside. So it's a harder cookie. Yeah. Oh. What's going on? Yeah, you can see the Huge big spread. chunks of chocolate inside. Okay, let's give this a dig. That's like a cookie. Nothing too special. Nothing too special at all. It tastes like a... Not even close to Subway. <laughs> you know what this has? It's kind of this like, real nutmeggy, it's sort healthy. of savoury. Yeah, Very it's not savory, overly sweet. Yeah. I like this type of cookie. I'm not a cookie guy. You're not a cookie. I'm a cookie but guy. Subway have great cookies. It's pretty close. Not even. Close. If you're wanting a different thing, they're not trying to do a Subway thing. This mm. cookie isn't overly sweet. Yeah. It's kind of like. Mmm. That's good. I've made a bit of a mess. It's a bit messy, but they give mm. you this big aluminium foil to play with, which is good. I usually get it. I'll have half because it's usually so big. It's usually probably. I don't want to say double, but almost double the size. Really? The so usually I'll have half, put it away, and then in two hours have the other half <laughs> because it's so big. That makes sense. It is very big, very filling. You could probably just get one. All you really need is one color. All you need is, and usually it's way bigger. Look at this. We've got to finish these bad boys off. I'll eat the chicken. That was delicious.